Well, the ads are everywhere. You've probably seen them encouraging middle-aged men to start taking testosterone. But are there risks associated with that? For the last few years, the FDA warned of cardiac problems. Cleveland Clinic researchers decided to find out who should be taking testosterone replacement therapy and how much. Our senior health correspondent Monica Robbins reports on the findings of a study released today. Since 2015, prescription testosterone carried a warning that it could raise the risk of stroke or heart issues. Now, a Cleveland Clinic study finds testosterone replacement therapy, given appropriately, can be safe even in those with existing heart issues. For men with documented low testosterone levels on two occasions, given a testosterone gel, which was adjusted in dose to get their levels into the normal range, was safe. The ads are everywhere, encouraging men to use testosterone to improve energy, sex, and muscle mass. But it's risky to boost testosterone levels higher than normal. Significant adverse effects from getting levels too high. Uh, blood counts can go up. There was an excess of blood clots in the leg and in the lungs, pulmonary embolus. There was an excess of atrial fibrillation and other heart-related rhythm disturbances. And there was an excess of acute kidney injury. A proper testosterone level is checked with a fasting blood test between 7 and 10 a.m., then rechecked a few days later, and routinely checked every few months. Not everyone with low testosterone has symptoms, such as low sex drive, hair loss, fatigue, fertility issues, or erectile dysfunction. And it's important to note that other factors, including certain medications, can also lower testosterone. And other factors such as mental health, stress, and diet can cause cause similar symptoms. But you need to be careful. You need to get it from a reputable source. You need to be carefully followed. And you need to recognize that we did not study testosterone for long-term administration. Monica Robbins, 3 News.